supposed to be a savage. You're supposed to be a bad loser. I don't know what's happened to men in the world today. They have none of this fire. Men used to wake up and walk in random directions with their friends. No Google Maps, no idea where they were going. Just walk in random directions to find people who were different to them and just conquer it, just take it. Savages. You're supposed to have that inside of you, but enough brains to direct it in the correct direction. To not end up in jail. But to wake up and say, no, I'm supposed to live a fantastic life. I'm supposed to be a king. Do you understand that me, Andrew Tate, I'm treated like a king. Restaurants don't even charge me. Oh, Mr. Tate, thank you for coming for free. I don't make reservations. I turn up, I can take anyone's girl off the table. I'm a king. How do you live as anything less? You know I've done it. Doesn't that bother you? I say these things and there's two kinds of people. People who get angry and they're like, yeah, I need to live like that because I'm only going to live once. And then there's people who hard code and just code. Oh yeah, well, you know what? You're an idiot because it's from some anon account. The copers will never get anywhere. Any of you with a brain should just be angry. Like, my car costs more than your life, your house, everything. And it's not even all about money. It's about the fact that, to me, the car is nothing. It's like, whatever, cheap, quick, whatever. Who cares? I want one. To you, it's a dream. A dream that will never come true. I don't know where the savagery in men has gone. It needs to come back, and it needs to come back in the correct direction. Anger is an extremely powerful, motivating force. You should be angry. Too angry to sleep, too angry to be lazy. You don't struggle with motivation when you're angry. When you're furious, you're very motivated. I'm furious now. My life's basically perfect. I, I can't think of anyone I'd like to swap lives with. I have the best life, the best family. I'm in good health, street cred in every city on earth. Everything is fantastic in my life. Matrix attack. Yeah, of course. But I'm a James Bond. James Bond has enemies. You don't get to the highest echelons without attracting some enemies. I wouldn't be genuine if I didn't have enemies. Which means I wouldn't be respected. I'm happy for all of it. Jail, Matrix attacks, everything. But I just look around me at all these other men. And they have no savagery about them. There's no conqueror spirit. Nothing. Genghis Khan had the whole world and still wanted more. As did the Romans, as did the British. Like the days of old, nothing was enough. The world was not enough. All of it. Everything. That's how I function. I see people like, oh yeah, you know, I've got a BMW, BMW. Nobody gives a, a shit. Nobody cares. I could buy a hundred new cars today and I still would be like, nah, not enough. Should have bought 101. You can be very happy and also extremely discontent. I know my life is perfect, objectively. I'm realistic to know that I've got one of the best experiences on the planet. I understand that. But I'm also waking up every day on fire to get more, which is how I got here in the first place. Lacking motivation is just lacking the basic masculine essence for conquest. Which means you were born to be conquered. Because you're either conquering or you're conquered. There's no in-betweens in this reality. You're either going to end up a peon in someone else's empire or you're going to forge your own. Or you can unite with a band of brothers and be a, a knight or a nobleman within a brotherhood which is genuinely conquering Earth. Like Tristan, you'll say, oh, Andrew's the top G, fine. But I am the number two in command of a huge, vastly wealthy empire. I just don't understand. And I'm saying this randomly as I'm driving. I just look into the cars of people around me and it's just so cucked. I, I don't understand how they're living these existences. And even worse, if you're that cucked, if you're that happy with the baseline medium, if you're that happy with the norm, you can't compete against the outliers. Outliers are always going to wake up and say, I'd rather lose everything than not have everything. I can't live this mediocre existence. I'd rather lose everything I have in pursuit. Get rich or die trying. How can you outcompete that man? His mind is there. He's ready for all eventualities, for exceptionalism, an exceptional reality. If you ever find yourself struggling with motivation, you need to understand that you're broken as a man. 